you and I have talked a lot about uh, a lot of use cases, some of the most challenging real-time use cases, whether sports, how will it help Akamai's existing customers who are already excited about this partnership? I mean, as Matt was saying, what we've had a, a lot of interest in is how am I going to add true AI to my applications? Whereas before, maybe I've been adding a generative interface, and I shouldn't say true AI, like up until now it hasn't been, but how can I go from a generative AI chat-based interface to something where it's actually going to be providing me with something truly personalized, where it provides a better user experience, or it optimizes something like my supply chain, or it helps me to eliminate things like fraud from my environment. We're solving bigger problems for some of our organizations now than you know delivering things across a network. We're really thinking about application architectures with them. And that's where the developer piece was always a challenge in certain circles because it was, I wanna code in this language, do you have a way to accommodate me? And when our answer was no, it's really a challenge to suggest how we would create a translation layer because that, you start to talk about complications and things that to a developer just don't feel right. And so now where we get really excited is Matt and the team have such a great way to engage with customers and the developer advocate that's working with them and in the Fermion community right now is so great at going in and, and assessing a customer problem, recommending or guiding through a solution for it, and then helping on the engineering side of things for us to understand, do we need a new product feature? Is there a new capability? Do we need to automate something on the platform to improve that developer experience? So some of the places that we've seen real lean in here have been in areas like optimizing for GEO optimization on my website and how I need to start moving from individual you know, pieces of my application being assembled at the edge so that I can do fast websites for website crawlers and individuals to how do I fully render my application on the server side so that I can create more of that, a, a richer experience for my customer, whatever that might mean based on my website, and then use distributed data management at the edge to, in place of caching and then provide an intelligent way to create an application that would be running in this case with Fermion and Akamai Edge workers that can then delineate as somebody comes into our proxy, what should I serve? Should I serve something that's optimized for a search engine robot so that it's fast, so that it looks dynamic and personalized and it gets me ranked well, especially as, as retailers start dealing with zero click searches with Google Gemini and the LLMs, that's gonna be really important for their ranking. And then what they're thinking about is, as I create things like customer engagement videos, social media um, advertising, et cetera, can I start to use AI to create more video content, more conversational content that will then be the, the uh, that will feed the LLMs with the legitimacy of my website for that zero click search so that I'm getting surfaced more because it's gonna be less about is somebody really researching through a bunch of blue links on Google. It's more what is gonna be presented to them because the LLM decided that it was valuable and that's sort of a jumping off point to a lot of other conversations that we're having. How do we think about that for payments? How do we think about that for content licensing and monetization? How do we want to think about it as we understand the intent of agents? But as people build the different front ends to the application that needs to, to make these decisions and then route accordingly on Akamai, that's where the flexibility of having Spin and Wasm on our platform with the Fermion functions is really going to make a huge difference. And, and it all comes together across industry slightly differently. But at the end of the day, it's moving us from delivery of static content and optimizing networking to distribution of live applications and figuring out where inference needs to run.